Well, from the very start, uh, we were forced to learn that addiction isn't what it's supposed to be. I'll go back to the great studies to prove that. Charles Winnick had two fabulous, important studies that I refer to in Love and Addiction. One is maturing out of narcotic addiction, which describes the natural recovery phenomenon that I have just been talking about. The other was physician heroin addicts, <clears throat> narcotic addicts. If you went to Lexington Hospital, there was a great bifurcation in the population and the recovery rates. They consisted of either street addicts or they consisted of physicians. Under 10% of the street addicts left Lexington and went back to New York City or wherever, Cleveland, ceasing to use heroin. Over 90% of the physicians ceased to use a narcotic. And what's that tell us? It tells us that the environmental and personal situation of the addict is the critical variable in overcoming addiction. So we did a natural experiment to prove that. We took a bunch of soldiers, sent them to Vietnam. Uh, we found a large percent of them took her when we identified a group of them who experienced withdrawal, identified them as addicts, and we discovered that when they got back to the United States, that about 90% of them ceased to be addicted and didn't become re-addicted, even though half of them did use a narcotic in some form when they got stateside. In fact, this really only affirmed the logic of what we know about narcotics. After all, people take narcotics in a hospital all the time, leave the hospital and cease taking narcotics. It backed up what Charles Winnick discovered, that the characteristics and environment of the user is the critical variable in overcoming addiction, that most people overcome addiction, and nonetheless, even then, uh, Richard Wilbur was the Assistant Secretary of Defense, he was a physician. He said, I wasn't prepared for what we learned in Vietnam. Everything I learned in medical school misprepared me for understanding that situation. If he went to medical school tomorrow, he'd be more misprepared. Uh, he'd understand the phenomenon less well because they've reified up the concept of narcotics being inherently addictive, despite discovering that many things can be addictive by doubling down on the mechanisms they claim cause heroin addiction. So we still, we're farther away from understanding the lesson of Vietnam than when Vietnam, it, in fact, occurred. And when we observed the natural recovery of three quarters to nine tenths of Vietnam veteran heroin addicts.